first video, we talked about getting behaviors on a hand signal, and now we're gonna talk about getting behaviors on a verbal. So the way we teach a dog to do a known behavior on a different cue, so sit is a good example. Pretty much every dog knows sit. Um, so the way that we teach them to do that same behavior that they already know, but now we're asking them to do it with a word instead of with a hand signal, is with it's very same formula, it's the same all the time. Um, it's the new cue, then the old cue, then the behavior happens. So for example, if I wanted to teach Chester, he's gonna be very silly right now. If I wanted to teach Chester to sit when I say the word banana, for example, um, how I would do that is I'm going to get him up. So I'm going to say banana. So I said the word banana, he didn't do what I was looking for, so I used my hand signal to then get the behavior. So let's try that again. Go get it. You ready? Chester, banana. So the reason I'm tossing the treats is I can't ask him to sit if he's already sitting, so I need to get him up, and then I can ask for the behavior again. You ready? Come here, bud. Banana. For some reason, he's convinced banana moves down. Let me try standing up and see if that will help him to not go down. Ready? Banana. So this is called bridging. And we are just teaching him um, that a behavior he already knows now has a different word to ask for. Ready? Banana. So this is how, by repeating this process, is how we get a behavior on a verbal cue. So I'm going to spell it because if I say it, we'll do it. D-O-W-N is a behavior that a lot of people have a hard time getting on just a verbal cue. Where all you do is look down and your dog lays down here. So for that, um, we're going to, he's going to, do it when I say the word, but your dog might not down. And we click and we reinforce. Now, if he didn't down, let's use a different word that he doesn't know. Fire truck. <laughs> he goes, this behavior is getting me stuff, so I know that's what you're gonna ask me to do. Um, but if your dog doesn't lay down when you say the word, you're gonna do that same process that we did with the banana for the sit. So we would say the word, we give them a second, and then we use our nice hand signal to get the behavior. So the reason I like to have um, the sit and the down go get on a verbal is for doing the next trick, which is push-ups. So having the sit and down and sit and down. Now, I call a down to a sit, I call it something else other than sit. Because for me, sit is put your butt on the ground. And when they're laying down, their butt is already on the ground. So I call a down to a sit something different than a stand to a sit. For me, it's pop. And Chester's still learning it. Um, ready? Pop. Okay. So the push ups that we're doing, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see Chester's feet a little better. Come on. Sit. Nice. Down. Nice. So I would just slowly build 
how many times you're asking them to sit and down um, repeatedly before rewarding. So at first, I'd probably do down, pop, nice. And then I'm gonna reward. And then maybe I'll do it twice. Ready, pop, four, down, pop, nice. So this is how we do push-ups. And this is the reason why I like to have it uh, on a verbal versus just a hand signal. I like them to be able to pop up and down really nicely uh, without moving their bum. All right, have fun.